To develop the process hazard analyses, operating procedures, safe work practices, and all of the other best practices and PSM uh, systems needed to effectively carry out effective process safety management, your company has to compile and manage written process safety information. This is a very broad requirement, but it is essential for the employer and the employees involved with operating a process to understand the process and understand the hazards posed by the process. This comes from the process safety information. Almost anything related to the covered process can be considered process safety information, and it all has to be maintained and kept up to date for as long as the covered process is operating. Process safety information involves data, such as toxicity, permissible exposure limits, physical data, reactivity data, corrosivity data, thermal and chemical stability data, and hazardous effects of inadvertent mixing of different materials. Process safety information involves the technology of the process, block flow diagrams or simplified process flow diagrams, process chemistry, maximum intended inventory, safe upper and lower limits for items such as temperature, pressures, and flows, an evaluation of consequences of deviations from those limits, and information pertaining to the equipment in the process, such as materials of construction, piping and instrument diagrams, electrical classifications, relief system design, ventilation system design, and safety systems. This sounds like a lot, and it is. It's impossible for you to effectively establish best practices if you don't understand the process in the first place. This is what is involved in developing and maintaining up-to-date process safety information. Let's consider other forms and formats that process safety information can take. Process safety information can include manufacturer specifications and handbooks for the process equipment and technology. It can include training materials and safety data sheets for the chemicals being used in the process. Process safety information includes published and proprietary scientific data gathered on the process or its chemicals. Incident investigation reports are part of process safety information, as are process hazard analyses and reports, compliance audit reports, and even updates and revisions to all of these. And I'm even sure there are some things I haven't mentioned, and you may be thinking of those right now. If a document refers to one or more aspects of the process, then it is appropriately included as process safety information. So how do you manage process safety information? There's no easy answer. The, the process safety information management structure needs to account for the multiple format types of the information, as process safety information can come in books, piping and instrument diagrams, electronic files, and paper documents. It has to be connected to the covered processes, and it has to be updated and added to when such information comes to light. And along with all this, process safety information also has to be available when needed. It's common to group process safety information into three categories, hazards, technology, and equipment. This can make locating the information a little easier. There's no need to memorize the process safety information, knowing where to find it is needed, and that's what's important.